Hey guys, welcome again back today. We're getting a video, and today we're covering all weapons from the initial Black Ops 6 teaser trailers and the Call of Duty Direct live stream. Everything I picked up now, some of this stuff because it wasn't published yet on the Call of Duty channel, I didn't pick up the live stream. We may not be able to show all of the weapons here from the trailers, but I will go through everything that I was able to pick out in the gameplay trailers or the trailer that they showed here for the single player trailer and Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct live stream over on their webpage. So that should be live at some point on their page. But again, if I can't show it all here, it should be over there. But this is everything I did pick out from those trailers. So first up, we'll go ahead and get in with it here. The one thing I saw from promotional art alone was the FN Mag or the M240 Bravo. So this is the light machine gun firing 762 by 51 millimeter. The M240 in service with the U.S. military. I'm not sure specifically when it replaced the M60. It was mid-90s to late 90s um, for a heavier machine gun. But again, that 72 by 51 millimeter round. Um, we did also see the M60 in the uh, live action trailer. So I'm assuming, I'm guessing, hoping at least, we'll see an M60 in the game. But for right now, the definitive LMG that I've seen here is the FN Meg or the M240 Bravo. Next up, we see a SMG, that being the MP5. So the MP5, I've seen a couple of different variations of this. We see it in some a little bit of variety of gameplay, but also some screenshots, which shows kind of a straight mag, which leads me to believe it'll be similar to 2019's MP5, where you have potentially any uh, 10 millimeter conversion or even a 40 Smith and West conversion for the MP10 or the MP5. 40 SNW. So I'll have to wait and see what they do with that. But the MP5 is making a comeback here. Next up for an assault rifle, we see the SIG 550 series of rifles. So the campaign taking place in 1991 through whichever timeline it, it chooses to go through. But the SIG 550, it looks like an early 552 model here in game for the 556 by 45 millimeter. Next up, we see the CAR-15. So the CAR-15 is a early prototype, essentially what evolved into, the, it's a Colt, Colt 15, which evolved into essentially the M4A1, prominently seen in the Mogadishu um, Operation Trident Spear, I believe it's, it is dubbed. But again, the CAR-15 may get a comeback here. We'll see this, see this weapon. We saw in the original Black Ops as well. It is the predecessor to the M4A1 or the original M4. Next up, AKS-74U. Pretty sure we saw a couple shots of the AKS-74U in a couple of the promotional arts and trailers. So this is a pretty much a smaller version of the 105, predecessor to the 105, firing the 545 by 39 millimeter. We also see what is the AR-10 LMG variant. So the AR-10 firing 762 by 51 millimeter. This is a stoner design. This is the LMG variant, one of the L one of the belt-fed versions of what looks like a AR-15 model. And game appears to be a AR-10 uh, LMG variant here in the trailers. Next up, we see the Makarov pistol. So the Makarov pistol making a comeback here. We saw this in Modern Warfare 2019. This is kind of a mainstay in the call of duty franchise we see this pop up in whether it's black ops series or the modern warfare series we see this thing pop up every now and then so the makarov pistol firing 9 by 20 9 by 18 at makarov is what it fires that'll be making a comeback here we also see what i believe is an ak-74 with a romanian um dong on the handguard so the ak-74 um this was a promotional art on steam and it also Based on the magazine, it's not a, a heavily curved magazine. It leads me to believe it's a 5.45 by 39 millimeter magazine, thus being a AK-74. So more time will tell. I'm sure we'll have, obviously, an AKM uh, variant in the game as well. But for this one, I'm going to say it's an AK-74 with a Romanian dong handguard on the weapon. Next up, we see an SR-3 or an SR-3M. So the SR-3 was in service from 1994 through present, I believe. This is firing 9 by 39 millimeter. It is a uh, different variant, essentially, of the AS Val or the VSS. So the SR3, we see it in game. It is in a little bit of different shot. So I'm not sure if we would get a shot of it here in the trailer or the video itself. But interesting weapon. We saw it in 
Modern Warfare 2019 as a conversion. It should be a good gun. Um, again, for the 9x39 subsonic round, so that'll be really nice to see in the game. Next up, we see a Mossberg, what I believe is a Mossberg 500 shotgun and a lot of the promotional art and some of the gameplay. So that'll be a good one. Make it a return from, we've seen it in previous cards. I'm not sure which specific one we've seen it in, but the Mossberg 500. We also see a USP 45 pistol made a comeback. I believe the last time we saw this was the original Modern Warfare 2 uh, multiplayer and campaign. So the USP 45, SOCOM USP 45, made a comeback here with a 45 ACP pistol. Next up, we see the AR-10. So the AR-10 LMG, we already covered the AR-10 here. Is essentially what they're what they're going for here appears to be the predecessor to the or the early version the sr25 or the m110 so it looks like again just with heavily modifications for the gunsmith we'll be able to either turn the m4a1 or the m4 or the car 15 into an ar10 um or it'll there will be a base weapon for an ar10 or an m110 early prototype so We'll have to wait and see, but based on the hand guards and the barrel lengths for some of the promotional art, it looks like an early AR-10 variant for a designated marksman rifle. So we'll have to wait and see what they do with that. But again, the AR-10 is essentially the same design as the M110 and the SR-25. They're both stoner designs. Stoner developed the AR-10. It was not adopted. He ended up going to Knight's Armor Company and perfecting that design for the M110 or the SR-25. So that should be good to see here in the game. Next up, we have the Gpard PDW. This is essentially, and big shout out to the community. We've got Chase, Maverick, some others in the community here uh, who identify this one for me. So this is essentially an AKS-74U. However, it is um, pistol grip mag-fed, similar to an MP7, and it fires a variety of 9 by cartridges. So 9 by 21 9 by 19 9 by 18 um, we'll see a variety of cartridges potentially here in the game, but again, it is essentially the design is an AKS 74U. However, the magazine is not fed through a magazine well. It's fed through the, the uh, pistol grip, similar to that of a pistol or an MP7. So, for a variety of 9 by cartridges, we'll have to see that, but the design itself looks identical to an AKS 74U, minus where the magazine is loaded. Next up, we see a FME SAF. So the FME SAF is a very interesting weapon here. This is essentially a different variant of what it looks like of a SR3M or an SR3. It looked like an SR3 when I first saw it, but you see a reload here, which shows the clear, transparent magazine, um, thus being an S a FME SAF. So this is a really interesting gun. Again, potentially firing a either 9x19 or for the 40 Smith and Weston. So we'll have to wait and see what they do with this one. But it looks it looks almost identical to an SR3 or an SR3M, minus the cartridge and the magazine itself. So we'll have to wait and see. But again, the F the FME SAF looks like a good gun. Definitely confirm here for the uh, game. Now again, whether or not that's a base weapon or some sort of conversion. We'll have to wait and see what they end up doing with that. So that'll be a really nice addition to the game here. Um, they they also said there's going to be 12 plus new weapons to Call of Duty. So there's a bunch here that we're not seeing. So there will be a lot more coming with the multiplayer reveal in August for Call of Duty Next. Uh, the final weapon here that I noticed was the PMG Ultimate Ratio. So this is a really... Um, Really interesting sniper rifle that I really never heard of. So again, shout out to my community, Chase, Maverick, uh, PJ, all those guys. If I'm missing any names, I don't mean to miss miss your names, but the community helped me out with this one. I would have never gotten this one specifically, but the PMG Ultimate Ratio is a uh, French assault, French sniper rifle uh, in service from 2009 through present. For as a variety of different cartridges, primarily 762 by 51, I think is what we'll end up seeing here in game. You also have 300 Savage, seven millimeter by eight Remington, 260 Remington, 65 Creedmoor, 65 by 47 Lapua, and six millimeter Norma BR. So I think we'll probably see this in 762 by 51 millimeter, but again, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. We saw a very short glimpse of this as a sniper rifle, so I'll have to wait and see what they end up doing with this weapon. But a PMG Ultimate Ratio, I don't think it's been in any pre any previous uh, Call of Duty game. 
Also, the AR-10 LMG looks very interesting as well. Very similar to a uh, Fight Light, which we saw in Modern Warfare 2, carried into Modern Warfare 3. So that there is it. Let me know your thoughts down below if I missed any weapons. Now, there's a bunch of weapons on the leak list, but I wanted to cover specifically what we saw in the trailers today. So let me know if I missed anything. Again, going through the trailers is a lot of very quick shots, so I... I most likely missed stuff, but let me know. And once we get the multiple reveal information here in August, we'll cover a more comprehensive list and all the leaked weapons that we expect to see as well. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if I missed anything. Until next time, Buffer Gaming, out.